Hey guys, what's going on? Coming at you again here. We're in the shop today. We're going to get these bad boys unpacked and we're going to see what this is all about and we're going to see what goodies we got. I uh, can't wait to get working and let's see what we got here today. So stick around, see what all come with uh, the package that I got here. Check it. See what we got here. Well, it looks like it's packaged well. All right. There it is. A limitless lithium cyber 12 these are the new batteries or newer batteries from a limitless lithium this is uh some of their new technology let's pull this bad boy out all right let's see this here set this aside for a second This is an all aluminum case. All the cells are packed inside that. Nice, I like it. I like it. Let's get a little bit of a close up view here. Like I said, this is all aluminum. Let me grab a tape here, give you guys an idea of what we're dealing, working with here. So, we're talking just a hair over 13 and a half inches long. About eight and a quarter wide. Nah, dad got it. And five inches tall. So what that means is that that packs a lot of punch in a small footprint. Got some of the packing stuff on it here. Limitless lithium. Uh, this weighs a little over 30 pounds, which is going to be considerably lighter than all the AGMs that's stuffed in the back of the audio pipe blazer. So let's see what else I got in the box. All right, what else do we come with? Ah, we got some bus bars. Some screws. Uh, jump. Some kind of button. Not exactly sure what that is just yet. It's got a 3M stain on it. Not exactly 100% sure what that is yet. And of course, all the set screws for the bus bars. Let's see what's in the other one. All right, let's see what all's in this one here. What we got here? Okay, so we got an eight amp charger for charging these. A limitless lithium charger. So that definitely be a plus. All right. And we got more bus bars and set screws. And another button of some sort. Still not sure what that is. So when packing these, and these are the bus bars, these are marked, yeah, they are marked positive and negative. So they go on like this. 
obviously. I wonder if that fits on this side too. Yeah, they look like they're machined the same, but it is marked negative. Help you differentiate the certain ones. All right, I put the bus bars on and I just finger tighten these up. Just wanted to see, give me a self an idea of what it's gonna look like and how they sit on there. Now this new Cyber Series does use, use the LiPo 4 technology. Um, each one of these batteries is good for 12,000 watts. So with my alternator set up on a Blazer, as some of you know, I have uh, three 300 plus amp um, alternators. So with uh, my charging system and these batteries should be plenty to run the audio pipe Blazer. Uh, now these batteries are a little tricky though. You cannot obviously mix these with uh, lead acid or AGM. Um, so I will be doing a front battery delete. I already got the stuff to do that. I've had that stuff for quite a while. Just been waiting on the batteries. So like I said, uh, this is a LiPo 4 technology. So these, you, you got to be a little bit more careful with these. You can't let these discharge below 11 volts. And you cannot overcharge these above 14.8 volts. Um, so you got to kind of use a little bit of caution. Um, but these are stout batteries. Um, I don't think too many people has them yet. Um, I know EXO, I believe, got a 6K. Um, and I've seen a couple other people. Cool Morris, uh, looks like he's got a couple of the, the 12Ks for his Ford truck. Uh, but I don't know too many other people that's got them yet. Um, so correct me if I'm wrong. If, if you know somebody that's got them or if you got them yourself, drop a, drop a uh, comment in here and let me know. Um, like I said, I haven't seen too many people uh, putting these out yet or, or using these. Um, I know there was a delay, and that's why um, it took so long for, to get these this year. There was the delay, obviously, with the, with the Rona thing going on and parts being uh, <coughs> excuse me, delivered. So, needless to say, though, it, I patiently waited, and now I got them. So, out of curiosity, let's see what these are resting out of the box. Looks like that one is sitting at 13.1. Not bad, not bad. And let's see what the other one's sitting at. 13.1. All right, pretty good start. Um, these will have to be charged properly uh, before installation and before playing it. So we will do that with the 8 volt charger that, or the 8 amp charger that we got. Cool. bars are pretty solid aluminum now I wanted to see how well it fits uh, zero gauge here it's my little test piece excellent fits in there nice and perfect I also like about these is I don't know I'll be able to get in here you can see there's a lip in here that's machined in these that way once you uh, take your uh, feel your wire back It'll fit in that lip. That way it looks a lot cleaner rather than if you accidentally uh, take too much of the wire coating off. That way it sits in there nice and snug. Cool. All right, so there you have it. The unboxing of uh, the Cyber 12Ks um, that I got from Limitless Lithium. Like I said, I'm happy to announce I'm now part of Lim Team Limitless. Um, and I got to give thanks again to Christopher Allen and Anthony Kimball, because like I said, uh, I believe in my previous video, my unveiling video, that if it wasn't for these two, this would not have been possible this year. So again, huge thanks to them, big props to them. If you need batteries, 
Start with Anthony. He can hook you up with uh, any Limitless Lithium product uh, that is available. And obviously, uh, Christopher Allen uh, seems like to be a pretty good guy. So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not going to bore you anymore. Um, not boring to me. I'm excited. So uh, I'm not going to waste any more time. I got work to do. So until next time, guys, face on. And oh yeah, I figured out what these buttons were. They're little thinnymo bobs that you put on the back of your phone so you can hold them. Duh.